Hello and welcome to the K6 project. Um, this is uh, the ramblings. Um, lockdown's not quite over but um, Boris Johnson's given us advice that if we want to go out and travel yards, then we can do. So uh, as long as I observe social distancing I should be perfectly fine to carry on with my project to visit all of the red K6 boxes in the country. Um, so right now I'm just uh, entering a village in Derbyshire called Caldwell. You your destination on your right. Right, so where was I? Uh, okay, so uh, welcome back to the K6 Project, the K6 Project Ramblings. Uh, this would be episode 6. I would have thought by now I should have been at sort of episode 20 or 30. But um, with the obvious coronavirus issues, uh, it's been a long time since I made a video. You'll probably notice um, that this has grown an awful lot more than it was in the last episode. Uh, that was two and a half months ago it was the day before uh, Boris Johnson announced that uh, all schools had to close and it was about three or four days after that that there was the uh, full lockdown was announced um, today is uh, Friday no is it Friday or Saturday it's Saturday so I'm losing track of days um, it's around about the middle of May I can't remember the exact day must hang, hang on i'll look it up i'll look it up i think it's around about the 12th something like that um gosh does my phone even show me oh yeah 16th yeah okay yeah so it's saturday the 16th of may so um i've decided it's uh, safe enough now for me to uh start uh visiting telephone boxes uh, it's a bit of a solo project anyway, so the um, the only risk I have is the interaction potentially with people that I meet and or uh, the boxes themselves. So at the moment, because this is still very, very early days from uh, going back out on the road, um, I'm I'm doing my utmost to avoid anybody. Um, today is uh, just a little quick trip out. I've chosen three boxes to look at in South Derbyshire, which are 15, 20 miles from my house. So it was literally uh, getting out of the house, getting some fresh air, uh, visiting these three boxes, finding the information about them, uh, and just seeing how it goes, just uh, looking at people's reactions to this. You know, maybe this is too early to continue the project maybe it's fine to continue the project um, it's one of those things where uh, the decision is mine but it's based on the reflection of feedback I get from others the only anyway I'm gonna go out and take some pictures of this telephone box this is Caldwell village in Derbyshire um, I've just been to Overseal and my last box is Short Heath. Um, haven't been to any of these before. Um, it's a very nice day. And we'll just see how things go. Okay, well, I've just had to uh, rescue a young lady in a car whose battery had gone flat. Um, I had exactly the same with the Cube um, earlier in the week when I went to use it. Um, having not use the car for more than like one mile a day once maybe twice a week for the last five or six weeks um, the battery had gone flat um, exactly the same on this lady's car um, so she, I've just realized she's made the biggest mistake of her life but there you go um, I had the spare battery and jump leads in the boot um, so I've just jump started her car and said to her that the best thing she could do would be to go for a 10 or 15 mile drive, maybe 20 minute drive, something like that, just to get a bit of juice in the battery now it started. And as I've been having this conversation with you, I've just driven past, she's just parked the car up and gone in the house. So it's gonna be exactly the same 
when she comes to uh, try and start the car again a little bit later but you know you know good deeds and all that so what have I been doing during the lockdown um, mainly looking at Google Street Maps it's um, it's okay to have a list of village names or town names or, or even in some cases the street names where uh, telephone boxes are supposed to exist but um, unless you can put it into a coherent uh, after 300 yards turn left Linton Heath set of coordinates for um, a sat nav to use that list is, is, is pretty meaningless you know um, It'd be easy just to say, oh, go to Bobsville. Well, where is Turn it? Left. What county is it in? Uh, what street is this box on, etc. So I've spent the time whilst we've been locked away um, doing as much as I can to give me a, a really good quality list of um, coordinates and addressing information. Uh, and confirmation via uh, Google Street View that there was a box there the last time Google went past. Um, it should give me a good chance to make some good routes in the uh, coming weeks and months. Um, when I first started this, uh, I probably knew of two or three hundred boxes. Uh, I'm up to um, good quality information for uh, probably 3,000 now and slightly less quality information i.e. I've got an idea there's a, a box in the vicinity probably of another 1,500 or so so I, I've got plenty enough there to work After on. After 300 yards go. Ideally I want to uh, document these on my website but I haven't, I haven't decided on the methodology to do that yet, you know, be it a map, a list, a PDF file or, or whichever. I, I still need to work on that. So it looks like I'm going to be doing the English telephone boxes uh, before anything else, uh, which is a shame because what I really wanted to do over this summer was to uh, get up to the far north and do, you know, maybe the Shetlands or the Orkneys or the Outer Hebrides. So. Um, I, I've spent quite a bit of time uh, trying to find all the telephone boxes I can or, or in those particular parts of Scotland and I've got a list of several hundred so that was going to be quite exciting to go out and see some of those. Um, equally I've done um, a day trip or a two day trip to Pembrokeshire just before the lockdown and that was going to be part one of, of North Wales. After 400 yards you have reached your destination. Okay, so we're pulling into Short Heath now, and I'm two or three hundred yards from the telephone box. So let's just see how good my sat nav is. Oh, I can see it on the right there. Okay, so that was a um, uh, uh, book exchange. A uh, reasonable selection of books in there, usual Jelly Coopers, as you would expect, lots of children's books, uh, a few sort of hardbacky bits of rubbish, nothing special as always. Still uh, hoping to find all those uh, special signed first editions, probably never will. Um, a little notice board in there, so I've pinned up one of my cards. Uh, done the usual thing, wipe the handle down, etc. So, uh, all good to go. So, um, off home now and um, see what happens. Happy with the interaction with people, even though I said I wouldn't have any interaction, but circumstances led me to uh, get involved with pushing a, a young lady's car back onto its drive. Um, she, she'd uh, started it up driven about five yards and it conked out basically no battery 
it's going to be dead as a dodo. I, I've got a funny feeling she thinks that it was uh, the battery was instantly charged as soon as it started again. So, uh, eh, well, there you go. Um, but uh, that wasn't the important part. The important part was uh, talking to the other gentleman. Obviously, we kept our sort of six, eight, ten foot apart. Um, and uh, it would appear that um, his viewpoint of me going around spotting telephone boxes because the first thing he said After to me After 800 is, uh, yards, cross the roundabout <coughs> and take the third exit, A444, towards Apple the Parva. Um, so the first thing he asked was, oh, you telephone box enthusiasts? And I was like, oh, yeah. And he was like, oh, yeah, no, yeah it's just, you know, interesting. And just sort of talked about the telephone box itself. Um, but I, I think my, my sort of questions to him and the thing that I was trying to uh, uh, glean out of him was um, whether or not socially this, this was uh, a, a safe um, activity to undertake uh, and, and it would appear so. Um, you know, as long as I uh, am on my own, which I was, and I'm not really... Um, mixing with big crowds of people and I'm self-sufficient what's the problem so uh, that's good news so I, I feel quite happy now to uh, contemplate going out and uh, do oh my god I've just seen the price of petrol so uh, in town it's 99.9 and here it's one pound 23.9 so someone's having a laugh 